The art lesson today is on pandas, and we're learning how to draw a very simple panda baby. If you go on the internet, you will find, and I'm addicted to these panda videos, baby panda videos. And they're so adorable. So I encourage you to go on and look at some pandas in real life and study their behaviors, study their, their bodies, study the shapes, their head, the eyes, the nose. Uh, do two pandas look exactly alike? Look at those kind of characteristics and then create your own panda bear. And this example that we're going to show today is just a simplified version, and it's going to be a cute baby cub similar to the one you see here. Actually, it's exactly like that one because that's the one I recorded. Um, but I hope you have fun and enjoy something about baby pandas. Panda. Panda, right, right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off in the center of our page and I'd like the kids following with me in my art class to draw with me find your very very middle of the page and a horizontal line now look this horizontal line is bigger than my finger it's almost look at that two fingers wide so two fingers wide now, if you make a mistake, just continue. We're not gonna redraw. And now I want you to all concentrate because I'm gonna go fast. When you hear the bell, follow with me. You have your horizontal line, put a line up, put a line up. Every time you hear the bell, I'm doing a next direction and we are going quick. Underneath, skip a little space, put a number one. Skip a little space and put a number one. Take the top of the number one and go over and up to the edge. Oh, now, now, now notice I didn't touch where I bent up. Do the same on the other side, over and up. We've just formed his nose. Put a number one in the, before the nose, put a number one after the nose. Now look at mine. Mine is not exactly perfect. It's not exactly straight. That's okay. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Just something like it. We're starting to form some shapes and if you're a little off, don't worry about it. It's not going to be important in 20 years, is it? This little line. No. Just enjoy the fact that you're making and creating. Now we're going to go curve it diagonal, curve it diagonal. Now do not touch together. We're curving it diagonally in and curving it diagonally in. In front of this line, look, find where you left over, jump over a little bit and do a circle. Look at how big my circle is. Now there is a little mistake. Don't worry if you have little lines off. You won't be able to see it in the end if it's a mistake. Inside that circle, do another circle. And how about a pupil? Color in a small circle. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Come to the other side, circle, circle inside the circle and color in a pupil. A pupil is the black circle in the middle of the eye. It's where the panda sight comes out of. Now we're gonna do a free form shape. It's not a circle, a free form shape is a, is a shape that is connected it's a line that forms an entire shape that's connected with several curves or bumps to it. So it is a continuous line that is connected and a continuous line that connects forms a shape and a shape that cannot be identified by a geometric shape is called a freeform shape. And predict 
Do the same for the other side. Up, around, give a free form shape. It does not have to be my free form shape. Every panda's little patches are different and they do not even have to be exactly the same on both sides. Look at this, that's off a little bit. All right, let's go quickly. We're gonna go over and up to meet this line. Over and up to meet this line, same on both sides. And our baby panda's taking shape. Next step. Little number one down, but I'm kind of curving it in, curving it in. Little line down, curving in. And connect it together, woo, for the little panda chin. Now we're going to go top of the head. And it does not have to be a straight line. Then we're going to go around, down and around, Keep it kind of close to the facial features. This is the eye spots. Down and around, slowly to the chin. If you don't touch the chin, just go under it. You can touch the chin or slightly under. And predict, yes, same on the other side. We predicted what we're doing. Curve around, and now we have the panda's head, panda baby. Now, if you take the eye and go up diagonally, the ears are not at the tip top, they're on the side of his head, but not over here. So we're gonna go toward the corners here. We're gonna go diagonally up, and we're, we're gonna go diagonally toward the top of our page. And I'm near the eye, come off the edge, and I'm gonna go diagonally, or almost straight, near the side of my paper. And then I'm gonna come around, connect it around. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Find your eye and go up toward the corner. Then I'm gonna put a diagonal line and a diagonal line this way and curve around so it connects. And now I have two panda ears. Now look, mine are not the same size. Is this a problem? No, don't worry about it. When we paint this in or when you color it in, panda bears, their ears are what color? Black. 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 So, and black hides everything. So look, no big deal. If they're not the same size, make them the same size. It's okay if this is here, because look, we're gonna color it all in black anyways. And is this line gonna show? Nope. nope. Don't worry about it. All right, the next step. Let's make panda body. Come on down. So I come off from under the chin, down, and I'm coming down off the head here, down, and this is side view of him. So I'm coming a little bit more this way. And I'm gonna stick some, a oh, nice big thick, Come off the head here, come down and over. This will be part of his arm. Pandas are just big, huge, kind. when they're babies, they're almost, if they, can, if they tuck their head in, they can almost be a big, giant, round ball. They're a big, round ball of fur. Now, if we do a paw, that's why I did this side view a little bit off this way. I'm gonna put a little bit of a paw line in this way, come down and over. So down and over, but not touching the other side. And I'm gonna round this, having a nice thick furry paw. I just wanna break up the composition so it's not the same. This arm is coming down off his body. And this is the side view. And now I'm gonna put in here, I'm just gonna curve it over. Keep it pretty thick. It's almost as fat as four fingers. Their arms are not skinny. So see, this is kind of part of his back and this is an arm coming in. I wanna hold some, two number 11s, and the panda's gonna hold this. It's his main source of food. Mm -hmm. It's a bamboo plant. Two number 11s, two number 11s, and then the leaves are elongated. Curve with a point. So I came from the stem, up, over, 
and then I leave it as a point, very sharp point at the top, and then come back, and it's a very long, narrow leaf. Let's do another bamboo. Straight line down, and I can keep both ends real skinny. Look, both ends are real skinny, and then curve to the middle and curve back. That's a piece of bamboo leaf. And they eat this almost continuously because the bamboo has almost no nutrition. So they have to eat tons of it to fill up their bodies. And I always do groups of three to five. So another bamboo leaf here. And if you want, you can add bamboo plants in the background and they're drawn in segments. They grow in segments and they have little leaves and these are long narrow lines. And what's happening to my bamboo? It starts off thick and gets skinnier. And these are the stems and then you've got your leaves. So you can now fill your whole paper with bamboo leaves. And remember when you do them, do them in groups of three now that you know how to draw the bamboo, or, or five. So you wanna continue on your own adding uh, the bamboo leaves, and you can put them in groups of three, five, seven, those are odd numbers. Two is evened, four is evened. So groups of odd numbers, and varying the sizes and have fun creating your panda bears. I wanna show you some examples I have today from my students in second grade. And here's one example. And our second graders here at the end of the school year are seven, seven eight, seven, eight, and maybe a nine-year-old. But most of us are seven, right? eight most of us are eight years old right now and there's your eight-year-old examples and I hope you have fun at home creating your panda bears and be sure to subscribe if you enjoy the videos and let me know how you did on your cute panda bears and don't forget look up some of these and observe nature on uh, YouTube because there is tons of adorable baby baby panda bear videos um, search baby panda or panda nursery and have fun creating your endangered giant panda bear